Hi there, this is a trap in the Slav defence which has been unfairly attributed to Vladimir Kramnik, perhaps because he was one of the very many who had this position with the white pieces. So we will call it the Kramnik Gambit. And after d4, d5, c4 is the Queen's Gambit and c6 declines the Gambit with the Slav defence. White develops knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, and now black feels he can capture the pawn on c4. So d takes on c4. One of the options the white has now is to play this move, a4, which prevents black from playing b5 to protect the pawn on c4. So black continues e6, now e3, threatening to take the pawn back on c4 with the bishop on f1. And black counters with c5 in the center. Now after bishop takes c4, c takes d4 and e takes d4, black develops with knight c6, more pressure on the pawn on d4. After castles and bishop e7, white now offers up the pawn on d4 as a gambit. And this is taken on the name of the Kramnik gambit in the Slav. After queen e2, this is an extremely common position and 176 times black here has simply castled with a very even game. Only once did black go for the capture with knight takes on d4. And that was in a game in 2010 between Kunin and Furoma. And black does very badly after the capture. Since after knight takes on d4 and knight takes on d4, Queen takes on d4. Now knight b5 hits the queen. The queen is placed very awkwardly as c7 is targeted as well, which forks the king and the rook. So after the queen runs back to d8, now bishop f4 comes in and c7 is targeted again. If castles, now the knight jumps in hitting the rook and if the rook moves to b8, first rook fd1 gains time and hitting the queen and black really should surrender now that exchange, concede the point that he's lost the exchange. After bishop to d7 interposing, now knight takes on e6 is deadly because after f takes on e6 we have bishop takes on e6 check and after king runs the corner bishop takes on d7 and that's going to be followed by a capture of the rook on b8 and white is winning black is lost it might continue knight takes on d7 and now bishop takes on b8 and it's all over so this has been the kramnik gambit in the slav defense hope you found it useful and thanks for watching bye bye